Hey guys, um, it has been a long time since I have posted a video and I apologize to anybody who was sort of like, where, where did she go? What's going on? Uh, long story short, I think the last video that I posted was probably last summer. No, like, like summer 2021. And I remember saying in the video that I was really excited to start posting again on a regular basis. And it just never, it never worked out. I got so busy with work. And to be honest, I think there was this, this sense of embarrassment that I didn't end up losing weight. I didn't end up committing to anything. I didn't end up uh, changing my life. And it felt, it felt almost silly to have this channel because why would anyone be interested in watching somebody start a fitness journey or start a health journey and, and, and have them not show progress, I guess. And then I started to watch videos of uh, people in this community that really inspired me to forget that negative way of thinking about it. And I, I'm honestly just like really impressed with the people in this community who are still putting out videos and updating people on YouTube, even though they're not losing weight and they're struggling and they're showing that they're struggling and it's real. The last two years have been so hard for so many of us, and I just want to say that it, it has been just a real struggle to stay on track with anything and then be held accountable, um, you know, by making by, by making these videos. And so, I want to <laughs> recommit myself to being here on YouTube, and I want to recommit to myself. So what I've decided to do is to just upload videos like this for the next 12 weeks. Um, I'm hoping the next 12 weeks. And I'm going to be telling you about my new idea or my new commitment to my health and fitness journey. I have decided, even though if you've ever, if you've been watching the channel at all, at all, I think I started this channel in 2020. You know that I have very strong feelings about keto. And while I have tried to stay away from keto, I know that keto works. It works for me. And it's something that I think is, a, is an excellent way to reset my mind and reset my, you know, desire to just change and, and get healthier. So... What I'm about to embark on is a 12-week journey um, where I'm doing keto. So I am fully prepared for it. I'm, I'm excited to show you guys what I've been working on. Because part, part of the thing about um, you know, staying motivated is, is doing things that are, that are fun and uh, engaging and interesting when it comes to you know, weight loss and tracking and all that stuff. So... I've created a little uh, kind of like keto journal is what I'm going to call it. And in here is where I'm basically, it's not fancy or anything, but I've basically like outlined just to show you. I've, it's probably backwards, but I've outlined every single day for the next 84 days. And I have um, basically... Basically, it's going to be my food log, like my food diary. So that's the way I'm thinking about it. Um, and the other thing that I created for myself that I, I didn't see this anywhere. I just thought of it one day and I was like, okay, well, this is a good distraction. It's like a, a hobby. But I want to show you guys this other um, project that I created. So this is just a, a, a journal that I got from Amazon. And these are post-it notes. And so what I thought would be kind of fun would be if I basically put post-it notes of the days of when I'm doing this and underneath, I don't want to look at it because I'm trying to surprise myself, but underneath each post-it note is a motivational quote. So today is day one, which is why I'm making the video. 
Uh, day one, I've decided that I'm going to lift this up at the end of the day once I have accomplished, you know, doing keto one day. It's been a long time since I've had like a consistently, like consistent good days. It's been a long time since I've had that. So this goes all the way to, just to show it to you guys, it goes all the way to day 84. Um, and I, I totally forgot the message that I gave myself. But what I'd like to do is I would like maybe on day seven, if I do this weekly, um, unless, you know, it pe maybe I'll do this every day. It'll be short videos though, um, where I'm going to basically, you know, like say I have accomplished this day one, day two, day three, on and on until day 84. So today I feel pretty good. I, I, so you probably saw my shirt already, but, um, I bought a Peloton, um, I bought my Peloton. It's, this is why it's embarrassing. This is why this is difficult because I am not one of those success stories of somebody who purchased a Peloton and then like suddenly transformed their physical body. I bought my Peloton, uh, April, 2021. I have been using it consistently. Instead of going to the gym, I work out on my Peloton. The workouts are incredible. I'm a part of the community. I love Peloton. I know that it's it's helped me to get into like better shape, but like health fitness shape, not physical shape, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, I was looking at my journal from last year because I thought, oh, last year, like last April, I would get my Peloton and then I would start the YouTube channel again and I would, um, you know, have this like dramatic transformation. So I wrote down my weight, uh, April, 2021, and it was 192. Terrifying for me to see that. I've never been so close to 200. I, I was just like, oh, okay, that's what it is. That's what's going to happen. We're going to lose this. It's going to be great. So the bad news is that obviously I didn't lose weight. The good news but I mean, I did lose weight. I lost two pounds. <laughs> but the good news is that I maintained my weight for the last year. So I'm starting this journey, this keto 12-week journey. I am starting this at 190.6. So I weighed in this morning. And, and I, of course, I'm like upset because that, that's like 20 pounds heavier then when I started the channel and started to lose weight through keto, I think I got down to 172. And so obviously seeing like 190 from that, you're like, oh my God, like what, how, how did that happen? It just happens, right? It's so easy to gain weight back and it's just, it's just easy. It just happens. So I am kind of proud of myself though, that I didn't gain any more weight this last year. I, I actually think that the Peloton might have had a lot to do with it because my eating definitely did not contribute to that. I I was trying the calorie counting thing for a while and then I got sick of counting calories. I just, I was doing that for a long time, but I just got really sick of counting those calories. And I was like, I can't live my life like this. What is happening? What do I need to do? And so I just decided I needed to do a reset and that's why I'm doing the next 12 weeks. I um, would be happy to uh, show you a video of the Peloton bike if you're interested in that thing. I honestly, it's super expensive, but I honestly, like, they gave me this shirt uh, for free because when you hit, um, when you hit 100 rides, you get a free shirt. So it's just like this really cool community. They've got new programs that are out all the time. Um, I do this thing called Power Zone Riding. If you are on Peloton, comment below so that I can, you know, like find you on Peloton. Um, yeah, so so yeah, I, I, that's it. This is, this is very unfiltered. There's no editing. It's none of that. I'm not even going to put my title slide. You probably already saw that if you made it this far. This is what you're going to get for the next 12 weeks. Um, I am, I took before pictures and I will take after pictures. I have also decided, this is why this is not going to be an impressive fun channel. I'm just going to be totally real with you. This is a very gritty version of Redhead Goes Healthy. Um, I am probably not going to weigh in every week. Part of that is because psychologically, if I don't see a number that I'm mentally expecting, it actually ruins my ability to remain consistent. So I have, it's going to be very hard, you guys, very, very hard. But I've tried to 
promise myself that I will not weigh in until the very end of this journey so that I don't get encouraged by a week or get like, you know, like falsely encouraged because, you know, that first week you lose a lot of water weight um, and then, you know, you hit like a, the plateau and then you get discouraged and I just don't want that. I don't want that. I want my clothes to fit better. I'd love to, right now I'm a size 14, 15, and I'd like to go down to like a size 12 again, comfortably. Like that's my goal is if I can fit into size 12 jeans, I will be a happy woman. So follow me if you're interested in joining the keto journey and uh, hopefully, you know, some good comes from this. And again, no editing. I'm not going to edit any of what I've just said out. This is just the, the raw version of Redhead Goes Healthy. Uh, I might title it that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. But uh, I missed you guys, so please comment below so I can comment back. Um, I'm excited to get back into the community. If you are doing keto, definitely comment. I want to follow you if you have a channel, and uh, I want to support each other. So with that, I will post another video next week and give you more of an update uh, how the first week being back on keto has gone. I will talk to you later.